Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, I'll do my Champions League final preview. I will do a quick, concise preview for you guys. So let's start with Borussia Dortmund. They have reached the final against the Hawks. They weren't expected to reach the final. And what makes this very interesting is that Dortmund have done so well in the Champions League that domestically they've been terrible. They're fifth right now in the Bundesliga. And let's be real, guys. Had, they had, not, had the format not changed, they probably would have had need to win this Champions League to secure a Champions League next season. Instead, they benefited from the rule change that, you know, the top two leagues get an additional spot for how well they do in European competitions. And, you know, Dortmund lucked out. But needless to say, they've done amazing. You know, in the group of death, when many people didn't give them a chance to qualify, they defied the odds. And not just only just advancing, because advancing is just one thing. But they topped the group over Paris Saint-Germain, which is insane. And around a 68, sure, they defeated PSV, and, you know, PSV is a team they expected to be. But remember, PSV were undefeated domestically at that time. You know, they were doing so well in the Eredivisie. And remember, PSV did come out the group with Arsenal, and they did manage to get a draw against Arsenal. And the quarterfinals, they had probably their most toughest test, Atletico Madrid. This is the same team that knocked Inter out of the Champions League, and they managed to do it. You know, and it was crazy because after that first leg, after the first half, you think to myself, is Dortmund really out of the t Champions League tie? And then Dortmund gets the lifeline back. They finish the game better. And then the second leg, Dortmund goes 2-0 up. And then you're thinking, so, okay, job done, job secure. Then Atletico makes a comeback to make it 2-0. And you're so, oh my geez, Dortmund, you really fumbled this. Then Dortmund proceeds to not let their heads held down and score two goals. And then in the semifinals, they had a very professional display against PSG. So I think one thing you could tell with this Dortmund team is that they have grit. They have character. They have determination. This team is never going to give up. And that's what I like about this Dortmund team is that this team is going to fight to the very end. You know, some players look up for this team is Matson. You have Hummels. You have Schurobet. You got Koba, Ryerson. Defensively, these guys have money. They have kept clean sheets. Um, clean sheets in the Champions League knockout stage. I think the only game which they didn't keep a clean sheet, the only opponent they weren't able to keep a clean sheet is against Atletico Madrid, which is actually which I would actually argue was the toughest test. Then obviously, Brandt's been amazing. Sanchez's been cooking. Adiyami. You have Marco Royce. This will be his final game here at Wembley, you know, like 2013. Can he re can he get redemption? You know, another Champions League final at Wembley. And obviously, you got Fulcri that's been amazing. Sancho, as I said, you know, and brad has been amazing. Like, this whole Dorman team, I could pretty much shout it to anyone. Everyone in this Dorman team deserves a shout because of how well they've done. Unfortunately for them, though, they're going against the behemoths, the kings of the Champions League themselves, Real Madrid. Real Madrid is simply the greatest club of all time. When it comes to Champions League, they are simply the best. And they could record their number 15 here next Saturday. And what makes this Real Madrid team insane is the fact that this Real Madrid team isn't even at their best. They've had a lot of injuries this season. Carlo has to really work with the team. And it's been insane because, you know, Militao has been out for like pretty much most of the season. Alaba has been out for looks at the second half of the season. Lunin has, to, has had to play. You know, Courtois has been out for majority of the season. You know, these kind of injuries have been insane. And remember, Real Madrid made the foul without a true striker, which is insane, which I didn't even think was possible. You know, they're, and look at the group stage. They were perfect in the group stage. Six for six. Then the round of 16, they defeated RB Leipzig. And yes, it was a bit controversial, you can maybe argue, but they did do it. And then the quarterfinals, they took down Manchester City, which was incredible because most people didn't give them a chance against Manchester City because Manchester City have just been amazing. And remember, uh, Manchester City are the defending champions, you know. And remember, Manchester City have had a, is, has a good record against Real Madrid. Real Madrid took the tip on pens. They got through. And then the semifinals, they defeated Bayern Munich in late fashion. So that's what you could also see with this Real Madrid team, is that this team is going to fight to the very end. This team is never going to give up. And I think both these teams have shown throughout the Champions League, these te they're going to fight to the very end. They're not going to give up when adversity hits them, you know. And that's why you have to give credit to this Real Madrid team. I think crucial players... Uh, to, uh, amazing players to look up for this team, obviously. Jude Bellingham, Vinicius Jr., Tony Cruz, this will be his final game here at Wembley uh, for Real Madrid. Uh, let's see if he can win another Champions League. Uh, but Because I believe in 2013, he lost against uh, Bayern in the final. No, sorry, he was at Bayern Munich. Um, so he actually did well. But let's see if he can win another one against Dortmund. And obviously, you also have Luna. It's been amazing. And this is and we ha let's talk about like some selection stuff. So Real Madrid. The big in injury concern is that Chiuamani is going to be missing the final. Chiuamani is not going to be present for the final. And that who is going to be starting in goal? Is it going to be Lunin or Courtois? Real Madrid fans, let me know in the uh, comments below. Because if I'm Carlo Ancelotti, I'm starting Lunin. 
because Lunin's got me to his position. Cor sure, Courtois is probably the better keeper, and he's probably the better shot stopper. But the thing is, Courtois has not played for so much this season. He's just came back. You know, he's only got a few games under his belt. And whereas Lunin has made you guys get into this position. Remember, Lunin won Real Madrid a shootout in the Champions League. So I, if I'm Carlo, I would, I would, I would uh, start Lunin. And also, there's a Carlo in there too. If Carlo wins another Champions League, is he considered the greatest manager of all time in the Champions League? Because that would be his fifth Champions League. He's already on four. So how do I see the game going, tactically speaking? It's weird with tactics because I feel like for me, when it comes to tactics, this will be very difficult because I think Dortmund, for me, will try to go in this game more defensive. I think that's what they should do. But the thing with this Real Madrid team is that they could play possession ball and be defensive when need to be. Real Madrid is tactically smart to do that. They can play counterattack. They can also play possession based. It just depends what Dorman does. Because if I'm Dorman, I wouldn't go toe to toe with Real Madrid. I think toe to toe with Real Madrid would be so naive and so dumb. Because the thing with Dorman is that what makes it really hard is that Real Madrid is capable of playing any play style, get, uh, execute, and make uh, advancing through. I mean, we look at the 2022 Champions League final. You can make a strong argument that Liverpool were the better team, but Real Madrid were much, uh, Real Madrid more professional. They saw their chance and they were more clinical. That's what I could see happening in this final is that I could see a situation where Dortmund outplays Real Madrid, but Real Madrid just scored that one goal and Real Madrid's just defensively amazing. So it's going to be very interesting. I expect Dortmund to be the more defensive team and Real Madrid to be more the progressive team. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's the other way around, where Dortmund's a more attack minded and Real Madrid's a more defensive because both these teams are capable of playing whichever way they want. So that that was, that's what makes this final very interesting. So for Dortmund, as I said, man, I think the key for them to win this is they have to be defensive. Solid. Their defensive uh, shape has to be solid. They have to make sure they don't concede any big opportunities. Because the thing is, Real Madrid is a team that you don't give them much. They, they could score even when they're not their best. That's the thing with this Real Madrid team. And obviously, Jude, uh, Vinicius Jr., he's a guy to look out for. I mean, I think he's going to be probably be the man of the match because this guy, when it comes to Champions League knockout stage, he's always thriving. He's always thriving. So what's my prediction, guys? I believe Real Madrid will win this game. I think Real Madrid will win this game. I'm going to say they're going to win this game 1-0. Um, and I, I just don't see Dortmund doing it. I don't see. I think it's going to be too hard for them, too difficult. And Let me put it this way, guys. I think Dortmund would have a great chance to win the Champions League if they weren't against Real Madrid. It's just Real Madrid are just the kings of the Champions League themselves. Like, it's hard to beat the kings, you know. I'm hoping it's a good final. It should be a good final, guys. And I'm going to go with Real Madrid to win. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Remember, guys, on Saturday, June 1st, right after the game, we'll be doing a live stream going over the game and maybe get some Dortmund and some Real Madrid fans on the channel to discuss their thoughts. So if you guys did enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.